everyone. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about my friend Chlamydia trachomatis. The root of the word means cloak, and this can tell us a little bit about it. The cloaked organism lacks meramic acid in its cell wall, which makes it practically invisible to gram staining. It can be better seen using a gamesa stain. I also think about cloaking in terms of its place of an infected host mainly that it remains in cytoplasmic inclusion bodies, which can be seen on tissue culture. Chlamydia, I like to remember as like the girl's name, Amy, which is in chlamydia. This helps me remember some more things about uh, the organism, mainly that she's needy. She's an obligate intracellular organism who can't make her ATP. Who else is another girl? Marie. Marie is another girl's name and she belongs with Amy. She's a friend of Amy and a friend of Dorothy. M-A-R. That says to me met metabolically active reticulate body. A also help, Just the letter A also helps me remember about action reorganization, which allows uptake of the organism via endocytosis. The RNR part also helps me remember reticulate body being repl repl replicative via fission. I and E, that says to me infectious elementary body. These letters also help me remember a few other things. I can also stand for inhibit, as in inhibiting the fusion of the endocytic vacuole and the lysosome. And you can contrast that with the survival strategies of Coxiella and Listeria. Now, our girls, Marie and Amy, they're looking for someone to treat them right. Uh, so, we need Chad. And that helps me remember chlamydia is treated, treated with azithromycin or doxycycline. And then you can also think about treating for gonorrhea as well, uh, concurrently with ceftriaxone. Uh, serovars of chlamydia, there's a few, few main ones that you should know. A, B, and C is as easy as A, B, and C, which makes me remember Africa, blindness, and co chronic conjunctivitis. And you're going to need to use your imagination on this next one, but D the serovars D through K, that, that makes me think of dick. And with that, you get urethritis, you can get vaginitis, and then neonatal disease via the birth canal. And that's how I remember D and K. And then finally, you have L1, L2, and L3 causing lymphogranuloma venarium, which is a sexually transmitted infection of lymphatics, often leading to swollen, ten tender groin lymph nodes. Now, our girl Amy, she's an amazing golfer. So amazing, in fact, that she could play in the Riders' Cup. And that is what she does. Riders stands for Riders' Syndrome. An HLA B27 associated reactive arthritis, sometimes following genital infection. C stands for conjunctivitis. U stands for urethritis. And P stands for pelvic inflammatory disease. And these are basically what chlamydia, the disease that chlamydia causes. Um, that is it. I hope you find this video useful, and um, I'd appreciate any feedback that you might have. Have a wonderful day, and if you, you see me in public and you didn't like this video, feel free to slap me in the face on the spot. Thank you.